Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another MLittle programming tutorial. In this video, we will go over the setup of a Django project. Now, this video follows on from the previous video in this Django e-commerce website series. So, if you're following along and you haven't got Django installed yet, it would be a good idea to go and watch that video first, and it will be in the top right right now, and I'll put a link down in the description. Now, in this series, we'll be using PyCharm. To open the virtual environment that has Django installed that we created in the last video, we can come into PyCharm and open Ecom site. Inside this project, we are going to start a Django project. I'm going to do the project setup in the PyCharm terminal, but you can do this in any terminal. To start a Django project, we run the command Django admin start project, and then the name of your site. I'm going to call it e-commerce site. This command creates a directory inside of your environment. Inside that directory, there are a number of files already created for us. Let's run through what they are. The outer e-commerce site root directory is a container for your project. Its name doesn't matter to Django. You can rename it to anything you like. Manage.py, a command line utility that lets you interact with this Django project in various ways. We'll be going into more detail about this file as the series progresses. Settings.py is settings or configuration for this Django project. URLs.py, the URL declarations for this Django project, also considered to be a table of contents for your Django powered site. Now at this point, we can already run our Django application. We can verify that we've done the previous steps correctly by first moving ourselves into the e-commerce site folder and then running the command python manage.py run server. This command will run your Django project and you can see it running in the address it specifies here. If we come into the browser and paste that address, you should see a screen that looks like this, congratulating us. Now that our Django project is set up, we're ready to start building our app. To do this, we'll need to set up an app inside of our project. But first, what's the difference between a project and an app? An app is a web application that does something, so in our case, it's the e-commerce site, whereas a project is a collection of configuration and apps for our website. Our app can live anywhere along our Python path. We'll be putting our app at the same level as our manage.py file, so that it can be imported as its own top-level module. So, we'll type the command python manage.py start app ecom site app to create an app. This creates a directory with a few files inside of it, including admin.py, apps.py, models.py, test.py, and views.py. And that just about wraps up this video on how to set up a Python Django project. In the coming episodes, we'll be using these files that we've just created for our app to actually start to build the e-commerce site application. Until then, if you liked the video, if you could drop a like on the video, it would be much appreciated as it really helps the channel. If you've got any questions about the video, drop a comment down below and subscribe if you're new. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.